Okay, this one's for you, Nick Highfield. Um, you were asking about uh, these electronic uh, buzz boxes, uh, trembler coils, as we used to call them back in the day. Um, anyway, um, pretty much straightforward. And very nice, hefty uh, piece of HT lead. Um, the grounding side's a bit ambiguous. We've got two white wires and um, one is the permanent ground and uh, then the other white wire is um, goes up um, to your contact maker in this case a small brass disc on the side chapter uh, and then obviously red for positive and black for negative as the usual now got it set up on um, uh, my little bench power supply unit and at 2.8 volts you just get the odd crack i've got the contact made so that uh, now at 3.1 we've got um sparks will primarily away and that spark plug is literally um the earth electrode has been pushed right back to enable it to ignite the gas that's um, on the little engine that we were using it yesterday but as you can see the voltage um, and current is pretty good and the frequency the pulse frequency seems to be dependent upon the applied voltage and as we come up to well, and by now the sparks are, uh, and honestly I've been on the tail end of this a few times, it, it works. Uh, anyway, so as you can see we could run happily on 6 volts. And um, as we come up towards 12 volts it's getting really ferocious. And at 2.6 volts, um, nothing doing. So, wonder whether it might be interesting to try what's three volts. I don't, well, I don't know what these are. Um, obviously, in today's modern modern world, something like a USB power pack. There, uh, I don't know what they run at. They run around. Five volts. Um, current just under half an amp. So yes, you get a you get a couple of hours from a USB power pack. Um, trying to find the unit. As you can see, they're heavily encapsulated in the nice plastic box. 
and uh, it certainly beats the days of us making them out of old magneto coils and uh, some lawnmower engines. <laughs> uh, nice and neat, compact, highly recommended. Thanks for watching, guys.